and this is where we're going to have a statue of Agatha Christie and that's where I come in as a figurative sculptor and a huge admirer of Agatha Christie. Welcome to my very messy studio. I'm Hazel and I tell stories in bronze. This is where I immerse myself in the life of the person that I'm going to be sculpting. As a sculptor, rather than drawings, I produce a little clay model or maquette. This shows you the movement and the spirit of what I want to capture in detail, 20% larger than life, in bronze, on the strand, striding towards the clock tower. Expect the final piece to have every piece of detail that you would see in Emmeline Pankhurst, in Manchester, or Sir Nigel Gresley in King's Cross Station. Any statue of Agatha Christie has to have both plot and character and be dynamic, also a little bit of intrigue. So is Agatha in Torquay along the harbour side striding out towards Beacon Cove? Or is she at Greenway, her holiday home? striding down towards that boathouse which features in my favourite novel, Dead Man's Folly. Or is she actually in Athens visiting the Acropolis with Max? As I think you might see, this was my original inspiration. Yes, Agatha Christie was an incredible author, but she also had many other passions like archaeology. I need your fiendish ingenuity to help me to come up with some clues to Agatha's life and work that I can perhaps secrete around her clothing or maybe they're peeping out of her bag. I like the idea of having a mouse trap hanging off the back of her dress. Or what about a bottle of medicine peeping from her bag? Or is it a vial of poison? What about embroidery into her clothing? She loved embroidery. Perhaps the flowers that she loved, like Lily of the Valley or cowslips. Or maybe there's a spine of a paperback we can see that has the name Mary Westmacott, her pen name. If I win the commission, I would love your ideas. Thank you.